Hello from Guadalupe Mountains National Park. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Jane and Stephanie and we're getting close to the end of our parks tour with Parky here, our limited edition National Park Foundation tour. I've said that a billion times. <laughs> and we are at Guadalupe Mountains National Park right now. It's in West Texas. Yes, and it's on the southern border of another well-known park, Carlsbad Caverns. So you know how most national parks have scenic drives? Well, they really don't have that here. Yeah. There's, there's only a few roads and some more rugged dirt roads and really remote areas of the park. Mm -hmm. So this is basically a hiking park. If you're coming to Guadalupe Mountains, you're gonna hike. And camp. There is a mm -hmm. developed campground right next to the visitor center. Right, and it's kind of hard to get super excited mm -hmm. about camping in what's basically a parking lot, but it is extremely convenient. It's very close to the visitor center, and it's also right where a number of the more popular trails start out from. Right, and there's no hookups at the campground, and there is very limited generator hours too. Yeah, but we don't have a generator. Right. <laughs> We're traveling in Parky, and Parky is a lithium coach, and so we've been blow drying and microwaving <laughs> to our heart's content. So we've been doing a lot of hiking here, and so we thought this would be a great time to share with you one of our post-hiking habits, and that's stretching. Yes, yeah, so it is debatable if stretching after hiking is going to help you prevent injuries or any muscle soreness, but there is another reason you want to do some stretching after a hike, and that is your muscles are so warm from that hike, it's the perfect time to work your range of motion and flexibility. And keeping a good range of motion and flexibility, that's really, really important. As you age, you don't want to get stiff and, and have a limited range of motion, yeah. so thumbs up. Yeah, and that's the main reason we're gonna, we like to do stretches after, after a hike. Well, I like to do it because it feels good. <laughs> yeah, it does feel good. And who doesn't like to end on a high note? All right, so, we're going to show you some amazing stretches that just feel great and trust me you're going to love. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so first, these aren't just any stretches we're picking. There are certain reasons why we're picking the ones that we are. Right, they're very specific to hiking because when you're out hiking, it's a little bit different than just walking out on asphalt or something. You're trying to keep your balance more, so you're going to be shifting your center of gravity a little more forward than normal when you're out hiking. Yeah, imagine like having a heavy backpack on. You're gonna to wanna to lean forward to kind of keep that in check. Right, right, so all these stretches are gonna counteract that by opening you up opening up your chest a little bit more and working your leg muscles. Okay, exercise number one. Okay, I like to call these prisoner lunges. Because <laughs> it's, you know, it's like, stick them up, your hands. Hands behind your hands head. Hands behind your head, okay. All right, well anyway. You'll gonna get, get used to our names. <laughs> you're gonna get into a lunge. You're gonna put your hands behind your head. That's a prisoner part. Pull okay. your elbows back and right away you're gonna feel your chest opening up. Remember, we're trying to counteract that. Look up a little, bend your front knee so you're deeper into the lunge and that's going to open your hip. Remember we talked about that anterior chain and you're stretching your calf now and make sure your heel is down in the back. It's a great calf stretch. And yeah, hold that for about 30 seconds and then you switch to the other, other side. Leg. Can I say it? The name? No. What? Number two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is stretch number two, and I like to call this one pecking chicken. You see what I mean. <laughs> okay, so you're, you're gonna stand split again, so put one foot forward, but this time turn your back toe out. No bending your knees, your legs stay straight. Both legs? Both legs stay right. straight, yes. Put your hands on your back, the, the backs of your hands, put them on your back and pull your elbows back because we're doing that chest opening thing again. And then from your hips, lean forward until you feel your hamstring starting to stretch. This is an awesome hamstring stretch and we're working on your upper body stretching too. Again, you're gonna hold this for 30 seconds and then you switch to the other side. Have you ever actually seen a chicken? <laughs> I know that, I guess, well, in the moving stretch, if you did this dynamically, you go like this and it's more like a pecking, right? Okay. But we're just doing okay. this isometric. We're holding the stretches. Okay. So don't peck. This is a not pecking chicken. <laughs> Okay, next one's gonna be sitting. So, number three. yes, number three. This one doesn't have a very exciting name though. It's just a piriformis stretch. You're letting me down with the names. <laughs> just ankle over your thigh. You've all done this one before, but it's Ooh. such an important stretch, especially after you've been out hiking. It's mm. so great to work your hips. And this one definitely works. Oh, yeah. opens up your hip. 
And I like to take my palm and push my knee down to deepen the stretch a little bit. Boy, I'm tight today ah. after that hike we did. I'm feeling that. Yeah. So you want to hold it about 30 <laughs> seconds and then switch mm. to the other side. All right. And then our final stretch. Four. Number four. I call these the heavenlies. This is the grand finale. They feel so good. So you're going to start by straddling your legs again a little bit and push your palms down into your knees. So your weight's kind of in into, into okay. your palms like that. And then you're going to turn so your shoulder comes over towards your knee and then you're going to turn the other way. Yes. Oh, this stretch is so heavenly. See, do you see why I call these heavenly? It feels so good on the spine. This is great for spinal mobility, loosening up your spine. People and who don't like this stretch may come up with another. <laughs> yes. All right, so those are some great post-hike stretches you can do when you're out hiking. What'd you think? Um, I think they're great, and I think they will leave you ready for for more hiking the next day, which is what you're going to do if you're here. <laughs> All right, well, we need to go make dinner because we have a big day of hiking tomorrow. So thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.